Welcome back to the laboratory, everyone. So the last video, uh, we ended up here with, uh, at this URL with a functioning DSC pull server or what we think is a functioning DSC pull server. So this time we're gonna actually test it with uh, configuration to configure an endpoint with uh, using the networking DSC resource. So if we look at our secondary server, server 19.3, what we have is Windows Firewall is currently running. So the idea here is we're going to turn it off on the domain profile with DSC. And so here's how we do that. Uh, so see, this is a ping just to 19.3. So you can see that this thing is not passing packets at this point. So first thing we need to do is download the module from the PowerShell gallery. The dash force parameter is just going to overwrite uh, the existing version if you already have it installed. Uh, second thing we can do is just verify that it installed correctly. Uh, correctly. So this gets DSC resources module, network and DSC. This will show you all the available resources as a part of the module. And so how do I know which one is gonna do what I really want it to do? Well, the answer is if I don't have any experience with it, you don't really know, uh, but you can use a few commands to kind of dig through and take a look. So if I use the dash syntax switch here, this is gonna give you the syntax for each one of those resources. Now, looking through this, uh, you can kind of see what these are doing, but if you're like me, that really doesn't mean a whole lot unless you can kind of look from the, uh, the name of the resource and get an idea of what it's doing. So what you can do is scroll through here, find one that you think maybe does what you're trying to do. And there are a lot for networking DSC. Uh, there's firewall profile and there's firewall. So I'm guessing that's probably one of the ones that I want. So if I clear the screen here and I do a help uh, firewall. So these are commandlet based help of the net security module. I can see these two about help files down here. These are the two DSC resources. So if I want to dig further in those, help about, let's just look at firewall first. Now, if you're like me, I hate looking at help files in the console. So I'll do a dash show window. And then because I'm blind, I can crank up the font to whatever size I want to crank it up to. And then I can dig through this thing and, and see if this is going to do what I need it to do. So, as you can see from the description here, this resource is used to control firewall rules on a node. So this is probably not going to do what I need it to do. So let's take a look at the other one, firewall profile. This resource is used to enable or disable and configure Windows firewall. So this is probably going to do what I needed to do. So I just got, to, I just have to figure out uh, exactly how I do it. So if I go down here to the bottom, there's probably an example, and there is. So looking at this, really for my configuration, I could just copy all this, take out what I don't need, and, and leave what I do. So um, depending on what is required and what's not required, I could probably just get away with the name of the profile and enable true or false, which is exactly what I did here. I wonder if uh, the ISC is not caught up to the fact that I installed the module. There it goes. All right, so that's kind of a good lesson. So if I take name out of here, yep, I'll probably get a red squiggly line, and it'll tell me that it requires a string for the property name. So I have to give it a name, which is essentially the profile. And I, I should get a telesense here. Yep, so. I want to change the domain profile to enabled 
false because I want to turn it off. Now I'm just going to highlight all this, put this in memory. I can close this now because I don't really need it anymore. Now I need to create my moth file. So I'm going to set an output path for locally on this machine. Now note that I am creating my configurations on my pool server in production environment. You're probably not going to create your configurations on your actual pool server. So some of this code would be slightly different, such as uh, this code snippet right here, where you would move the MOF files from whatever endpoint device you're actually creating the MOF files from to the pool server. So you can see I have that session snippet right there where you would where you would uh, create the session to the pool server, or whatever the name of the pool server is, to move it from the output path to the actual local disk of the uh, pool server. Hopefully that made sense, but because I'm doing it locally, I don't have to create a remote session. So my output path, C DSC node configs. I'm gonna call that configuration with the output path parameter. All my MOF files uh, that I'm staging on my pool server have to have a checksum. So I'm gonna create a new checksum for that MOF. And if I go C DSC node configs, there you can see this is my local host MOF and this is my checksum. Now I want to stage these on my pool server where my endpoints can consume them, which is if you remember from our um, pool configuration, program files, PowerShell, DSC configuration. So that's what just happened there. So if I go to C, program files, PowerShell, DSC configuration, there are those two files now. So they are staged for the endpoint node. Now, because I'm using um, a configuration that requires another module that my endpoints don't have out of the box, I need to stage that particular module on my pool server so my endpoints can pull them down from the pool server as opposed to each endpoint going out to the PowerShell gallery and downloading them. So what I have done is all I did was take a copy of the networking DSC module, put it here in C DSC. So this is just a copy of the networking DSC uh, module. I'm gonna package that using this publish DSC module and MOF command, uh, which is a part of XPS desired configure desired state configuration module, I think. Okay, yeah, so this is a part of the XPS desired state configuration uh, module. So you'll have to have that as a prerequisite. I hope hopefully I can remember to put that in the uh, the description. All right, so now we have staged the module. If we want to look at that, we can go back to DSC service modules. And here is a copy of our module. You note the this is the convention. So networking DSC underscore version number. And then this also has, a, has to have a checksum. So the module does all that for you. All right, so configuration staged, module staged, all that's done. Now we really all we need to do is uh, tell the LCM on the endpoint to come get it, come get the module, come get the, uh, the configuration. So this is our LCM configuration for the endpoint. And I'll just go through this briefly. There's not really a whole lot to it other than we're sitting it in pool mode. It's going to refresh every 30 minutes. Um, we're going to reboot the node if needed. Now, understand what you're doing there if you're in production uh, and you're, you're on a server. So you're going to take down a production server if it needs a reboot. This is just telling us where the server is, um, configuration name. This is not 
needed for this type of configuration, but I, I reuse these for name configuration. So that's why I use localhost. Have to have the thumbprint and that's basically it. So we are telling it what computer, passing in a computer parameter. Um, in this case, I'm only using one, but you could certainly do it like this and read off a bunch of computer names. This would also be slightly different if you're um, authoring this from a different machine than the pull server, because you'd have to reach out remotely and get the, the thumbprint. And so this, so we got to get a reg key to register with the, the pull server. And now we're going to create our meta file for the endpoint. So this will create our meta file in C DSC node configs and actually apply it to the, the endpoint. So at this point, we don't really have to do anything. We could just wait and let uh, the LCM do its thing, but that would take some time. And we can see here, it's still timing out. So we're gonna force, well, let's look at the status. I've already created a session. Let's look at the status. It's telling us that it's succeeded. This is what we can do to manually run, manually make the endpoint, pull the configuration and everything from the pool server. So if we look at this now, uh, where is it? So we can tell here, disable firewall, testing domain profile, firewall domain profile enabled is true, but should be false change required. So it should have changed it. So now we are getting pings. Now it's turned off. So we know for a fact it worked. Now, just for giggles, how would we turn it back off or turn it back on? I'm sorry. We could do it just the exact opposite way. The only thing we need to do now is we have the module staged. We just need to change configuration files. So we could go in here to DSC configuration, delete this, go back to C DSC node configs, our where we are staging our configuration files. Delete those. Go back up here to where we created our configuration in the beginning. Change this to true. We're going to put this in memory and we need to do this again. We need to output it, create a checksum and stage it in configuration again. So that appeared to work. We don't need to publish the module again because it's already there. Uh, we don't need to configure the LCM again because it's already configured. Every, all that has stayed the same. Really all we need to do now is force an update to the LCM. So testing firewall. Domain profile enabled is false, but should be true. Change is required. So we should get a timeout. We did get a timeout here and it's turned back on. So all is well in the world. So now we have a functioning pool server. Uh, hopefully you found that useful. I know it's a bit long winded for a simple configuration like that, but um, maybe we'll get into some other more complicated configurations uh, later on. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. You have any questions, post them down in the comments. Uh, I appreciate your time.